All right, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. Today, we are watching John Wick Chapter 4. I'm super hyped for this movie. Well, okay. Well, I mean, I'm hyped. But, like, I mean, maybe super hyped was too much. Like, I really enjoy the John Wick movies. John Wick 1, 2, and 3. They're really good. Action is top tier. Keanu Reeves is Keanu Reeves. National treasure, let's be honest. Uh, you know, when you watch these movies, you're not really here for, like, a crazy story. You're not here... For like the craziest of acting sequences either you are here for top tier action all right filmed beautifully directed beautifully choreographed beautifully that's what you're here for you're here for a fun enjoyable time and you're gonna watch some action that makes you go oh shit you know what i'm saying so i'm i'm excited to watch this i haven't seen it i didn't get to see it in theaters i can't remember why i didn't see it in theaters this feels like a movie i would have gone to see but whatever was happening was whatever, whatever what was happening that was english whatever i was going through was whatever i was going through <laughs> i don't know why i didn't get to see it but either way i'm excited to watch it i i didn't see the trailer for this one either i don't really watch movie trailers that much anymore because like i kind of already know what i want to go see and what i don't want to go see so like it's very rare that i need to watch a movie trailer to be sold on a movie like i already know if i'm gonna see it or not so i didn't need to watch the trailer for this so i don't know what, what happens in this one but you know we end off in the last one with uh what's it called uh winston shooting john as he you know falls off the building and then he gets found by the underground and so they're gonna take on the high table so that sounds pretty sick sounds good i'm excited i don't got anything else to say full reaction is gonna be up on patreon link in the description and without further ado let's watch this movie you ready john yeah yeah <laughs> what an opening i like it i love that like these movies are now i feel like they really know what they are so they're like hamming it up you know what i mean like it knows what you're here for it knows who its audience is it knows what its purpose is so like it doesn't have to try and fake to be anything it's just like now it's just going all out <laughs> it's not campy at least not yet but like i love that it it like knows what it is so it's hamming it up I stuck in two, like John is all dressed in black, even his horse is black, and like those guys are in white. But it's funny because like John reminds me of like the Grim Reaper, you know what I mean? Like dressed in full black on a black horse, because he is literally the embodiment of death. That's that's kind of fucking fire. You have the unshakable faith of David, my friend, but you shouldn't be here. This will not be pleasant. Such is life, sir. <laughs> I father used to say how you do anything is how you do everything is that Skarsgård? Bill Skarsgård? kinda looks like him it is! nice he's great manager. damn that was fast But like, what about the rest of the fucking country? Wouldn't they see that as like a terrorist attack or some shit? How do you explain that? If you say gas leak, I'll smack you in the face. No, don't start like this. You no longer need the services of a concierge. No, don't do this. No, don't do this. Don't do this! Well, if they wanted to make me hate a character, fucking mission accomplished. You kill, like, everyone's beloved character. Everyone loves him, man. Damn, dude. Damn. That's gorgeous. Oh, you're gonna give me the blind act, too? What is this guy? Fucking Matthew Murdoch? Get out of here. Not bad at all. Damn, dude. Bro, give up the assassin game, dog. Become an artist. Someday. Friendship means little when it's convenient. That's a bar. That's a bar. High table. I feel like Bill Skarsgård is like 
a good cast for this guy. Cause like, he's like 6'5", he's pretty big. He plays that like, not physically menacing, but like, psychologically menacing, you know? That's your choice. A good death only comes after a good life. Another bar. Leave it to the wise Japanese man. Be ready to show hospitality. Uh, it's funny. Out come the guns and the swords and the bow and arrows, apparently. Don't repeat the mistake that fool in New York made. Fools talk, cowards are silent, but wise men listen. This guy's filled with nothing but bars, dog. This guy's filled with nothing but bars. By order of the Marquise de Gramont, this hotel has been deconsecrated. Damn! Step aside. They going for everybody, bro. <laughs> oh, they're like protective suits, okay. I was gonna say, I was like, that dude just just like took it through the wrist and just like walked it off. I mean, they got one kill at least. Was the twirl necessary on that part? <laughs> that was that was so extra. Damn. Okay. You armed? Oh, never mind. Okay. Oh shit! That was out of nowhere. Yo, I like her her fit though. This fits fire. Damn, dude. That's a powerful bow. Holy fuck. Damn, all right, nice. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna be honest, man, like, this movie and last movie, maybe it's because, you know, Keanu Reeves is getting older and everything, but like, I think the, like, the choreography is amazing, but I, it just feels kind of slow. And like, sometimes it feels like when you watch the actor do the hit, the hit wouldn't actually have any, like, power behind it, but the the person they're kicking obviously goes flying, even though it looks like the kick had nothing to it. So sometimes it kind of looks like a little bit goofy, but like the choreography is still like stellar. This guy's just fucking eating udon. Oh, a good guy. He didn't kill him. Just knocked him out. Respect. That's friendship right there. For, you know, like, the respect he has for Koji, I guess. What the fuck is that? EMP? Bomb? I don't know what that is. That's what that is? Oh, that's awesome. Fucking motion sensor doorbells so he knows where they are. That's so dope. Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> that was funny. Alright, these bulletproof suits are fucking crazy. They're a little- <laughs> I feel like they're a little too bulletproof for my liking. <laughs> Cause like, before I felt like it was like Kevlar, so like, it definitely still hurt when it hit you. Like, when John Wick first got it. But like, there's just like straight up like, whatever kind of metal plates in those things. You can just see the sparks fly off when they get hit. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh. Use the height tier advantage, I like it. In his ass! Give him the Kakashi! No? Okay. And John, do me a small courtesy. Take it again. Oh, cross that degree. Oss! 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 Oh, I'm so happy you said that. That's funny. Nice. Oh, and the balls again, man. Leave the crown jewels alone. Nice. That was just like the first movie. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, man, I feel like, like, it's not to hate on the Wick movies at all, 
because like it's extremely impressive and well choreographed and well done but like i think that's the downfall of trying to make it so realistic and like no cuts or anything like that where you just have moments where the uh like the actors and fighters are kind of standing around like that dark knight rises a little bit where like people were just kind of standing around and like you know what i mean and, like instead of actually hitting something because they know they have to wait for their moment for the choreography or whatever so like it does kind of suffer from that a little bit unfortunately just because they try and make it so realistic so they don't they have like no cuts you know really long takes and everything like that so kind of sucks a bit like it's a little bit a little bit irks me i'm not gonna lie but like it's still so amazing that you're just like well whatever it is what it is me too I do like that he actually fights like a blind assassin though. Like he's not literally like Daredevil or Stick. Like you, he does still literally fight like he's blind. He's just extremely good. Oh my god, that's so tense. Yeah. Oh good, he was out of ammo too. Oh, oh is he on John's side? No way. Is he or does he just, oh he just wants the money for himself, I lied. Damn! All right, I don't know how I don't know how Blind Boy is doing this part, but you know what? Let it be. It, it's hot, so I'm I'm gonna let it rock. <laughs> you think he took inspiration from Charlie Cox's Daredevil with that little head tilt shit? I mean, I imagine regular Blind people do that, but I don't know. Feels like inspiration. Just take care of your daughter. I oh, am. Yeah. Hey. I'm not sure how his death takes care of his daughter. Oh, well, maybe like, as in like the high table won't go after her if he's dead kind of thing. Just how they killed the concierge instead of Winston. If he dies, then hopefully she stays safe, I suppose. But he has like cuts across both of them, so he was blinded yo a kane backstory would go crazy like a spin-off john wick movie about kane would be sick goodbye mr wick i love this movie's use of colors so far There's like a lot of green blue and red that feels very apparent i failed to see how laying waste the continentals it's getting you closer to killing John Wick. This campaign is not to kill John Wick. It is to kill the idea of John Wick. That you can be above the high table? Or that you can take on the high table? That idea touches. Yeah, that's fair. I get that. For the service. You can pull the knife out, or you can pull your hand out. Ay And the other, a man committed to the cause. What? Oh, this felt. This feels very Joker. That felt very Heath Ledger Joker right there. That was terrifying. Good lord. Yeah, take the knife out, homie. Don't rip your hand out. No, 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 no. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Homie, homie, I don't even know how to react to that. That was so <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was terrifying unexpected holy shit yeah i felt a lot of heath ledger joker right there the not only the lick of the lips but the look in the eyes the way he talked the lip quiver the head shake that was very heath ledger inspired i feel like but i'm very much enjoying skarsgård portrayal of marquis in the in this movie he's very terrifying i like it a lot also why did he pull his hand out slow i would have done it so f like would you not just like one and done 
Do you know what I mean? Like not slow, slowly, surely must have hurt way more. Damn, bro. How is this guy so good? He put a tracker in fucking John Wick's rectum? Like, how does he find him so fast and easily? Oh. That's a broken arm, right? For sure. No? Okay. Just walk that off. You will only have to kill one to get back in. The bastard who murdered my father. Give me the name. Yo, that growl was tough. I felt that. I mean, I know he's getting choked, which is why he's also growling, but like, it felt, it felt a little more in there. Let's see. <laughs> four nights. And a four. How does he know that? Maybe a little bit. Are those some special cards? Bro sliced his throat with a playing card? <laughs> I just shoot him in the ass. I love how Kane is just standing there. A flashbang? <laughs> That's funny. I love Kane. Kane is so good. See, again with just like red, green, and blue lighting. Definitely the theme of this movie. Or I, I don't know, the tone? Whatever you want to call it. I mean, literally, bottom right is blue, back there is red, left was green. Like, it's so much of it. Damn, big man can move pretty fast. Also pretty flexible. Bruh! Oh! Oh! God damn! Yo, big man got moves! Alright, without question though, this is the best action sequence and set piece in the movie so far. For sure. This one's amazing. Music as well. Choreography is great. Looks better. In the rain, in the wet, the colors, everything. Just absolutely killing it. Oh, Kane is so hot. Oh, Kane, you're the goat. Mr. Nobody is nice too. Nuts! Ow! Oh, God! I also just realized his name is Mr. Nobody. Wasn't there the movie Mr. Nobody? With the the guy who plays Better Call Saul? Yeah. Oh, he jabbed his hand inside it! That's disgusting! He picked him up! Yo! John! Doesn't skip any workout day. <laughs> How did he just pick him up like that? That's crazy. This guy's at least got to be 315. <laughs> Thank you. Back of the thigh. Oh my god. How is Buddy still standing? Oh, oh, mamma mia. That's a broken neck if I've ever seen one. Yep, that dude's dead. Yep, yep, for sure. Hell of a thing for them to take your eyes, though. They didn't take them. I gave them. Bro, I'm telling you, we need a Kane backstory. He's so sick. Kane's the best character in this movie. <laughs> okay, but all right. <laughs> they just take a shot after. Uh... Or they pour it on it. This is about as Russian as it gets. Fair enough. <sighs> oh, she ain't even wince! Brother, what? <laughs> Dog, you ever gotten a paper cut and put like hand sanitizer on it? I'm crying on the spot. Like, severe burn and then just pouring alcohol on it? Y'all are crazy. Y'all are crazy. I couldn't never, could never. I mean, I guess that's why I'm not an assassin, but like, you know, still, that's crazy. No shot. <laughs> Yet you will accept 
because we all still sit beneath the table. And even you are not immune to the consequences of failure. Kind of backed him into a corner there. I like it. Because <laughs> if he doesn't accept, he's undermining everything that he's working for and like stands for. So he, he kind of has to accept. A man second, like his sponsor. Oh no, he dies too. Either he walks out with his champion or is buried beside him. The old ways. Such is life. Ah, yeah. Let's go. There's nothing else, gentlemen. I will A see. nomination. Ah, oh, of course. Of course, it won't be him fighting. Do you have a name? If you say Kane. Kane. Fuck. And they're friends too, Kane and John. So now one of them has to die. No quarter. Although it's a dueling pistol, and Kane's blind. So, if John loses this, I don't really think he is the Baba Yaga. You kill him, and you and your daughter will be free. No one can touch her. If you don't, she will have to face the consequences. Obviously. I would like to see the Marquise get his hands dirty, though, because, like, you know, it's, it's always easy to sit at the top and order everyone else to do your dirty work. So, like, I'd like him to get his hands dirty a bit. Just to see if he's worth his salt, you know what I mean? If you, you're gonna talk this much shit, you better back up some game. You think your wife can hear you? No. And why bother? Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> That's nice. Weird how a movie about, like, assassins who kill thousands of people can have such a touching scene like this. And actually be quite moving. Oh, what a shot. That's fucking gorgeous. And the shadow behind him, too. Oh, man. That was good. Damn! It's a nice gun. Amen. <laughs> this is what I mean by this movie knowing what it is. Like, it takes itself so seriously and not seriously at all, and I love it. Absolutely love it. Good lord! No way! <laughs> oh. oh my god! Ow! Oh! Good lord! Jesus, so gruesome. I love it, but just so gruesome. Jeez. Oh, what a shot! That entire car drift, just to show you it's actually Keanu in the car, that was amazing. And I've seen like behind the scenes footage of him driving like this exact car out and wherever, practicing the drifts and stuff, so I do know it is him ripping it right now. Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. I love how you can clearly see his face. It's so great. And I know they're doing it on purpose, like to make it a point that you can see his face. But it just makes it all the more impressive, you know? Ay, ay, ay. Oh, this guy got hands. Oh, God damn. I love the, the use of the cars. You know what I mean? Like, I love how much they use them. People getting hit by them, John using them to fight. Fantastic. Yeah? Okay, on our side. Let's go. Let's go. Fucking okay, dog gets to assist. Alright, that's a strong dog. Oh. Is two shots to the dome necessary? I swear one is enough. My god. <laughs> god damn. Bulletproof backpack? Alright. Whoa! Oh, that was cool. Never mind, that's a lot cooler than a bulletproof backpack. What? 
Now you listen to me. Forty. Ay, 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 ay. I like Mr. Nobody too. D'accord. Okay, he said forty pay for the service, but like, is he really gonna do it now? Is he gonna do it? I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, they're assassins. They're not really friends, so like, he doesn't owe John anything, I suppose. Explosive rounds. Oh my God. What a shot. What a fucking shot. This is amazing. Holy cow. Holy cow, man. It's still going. Oh my god, and now we're like doing it top down from the ceiling. Wow. Wow. It looks like a video game. That's so cool. Bro, this is ins Oh my god, dude, this is insane. This is so cool, dude. This is so cool. And it's also like really well done in terms of like the blending of special effects and the live action. Because you can very much tell like which parts of the CGI and which parts aren't. Like a lot of the uh, the explosion and hit effects, I feel like, look very CG, like on the walls and stuff like that. But like blending it with the people and stuff, it's it's doing a really good job. And like the papers and everything, uh, I feel like it looks very. Maybe it's just the way it's shot, but it looks very uh, CG to me. But like good blending of it. Oh! Ouch. Oh, he didn't kill him? Hey, John, come on. You gotta think for dogs, brother. Come on. Good man. <laughs> His face. How is Brody walking that off? How is the watch survived? Excuse me? 603. Oh my god, he's eight minutes? He's got it's it's 555 on his watch. He's got eight minutes to climb 222 steps. Oh. Final battle is a fucking workout. Oh come on guys. You don't gotta make it harder. We got we got eight minutes. We're on a clock. Oh, that was nice. I don't know if the movie's actually gonna do it, but I hope the movie also only lets eight minutes pass in terms of the actual movie's runtime. I think that'd be a great touch. I'm not keeping track, so I have no idea, but it'd be nice if that is a thing. <laughs> Bro got him while he was sliding down? Damn, that's tough. Damn, what a throw! No, John. You gotta keep going up, man. This gotta be the workout of a lifetime, dude. Like, 222 steps in 8 minutes, I feel like, would already be so difficult. Throw fucking 30 armed gunmen while you do it? That's crazy. This guy's like 60, doing all this. Madness. And the watch makes it through. Not a scratch. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sakes, fam! Oh! Mamma mia! Okay. Okay, someone got a helicopter or something for my man. The whole way? The whole way down? No! No! Oh my god! Oh. Okay. Okay. Ow. I felt that. I felt that. Didn't happen to me, but I sure felt it. Yeah, eh? Okay, let's go. Let's go, Kane. Ready. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bros before the high table. <laughs> All right. Well, that, that just looks beautiful, though. That's badass. 12 or 9. 9. <laughs> I like that. I like how he's still shooting into nothing over there because he heard that dude's body fall. That's good. Just, yeah, deconstruct the gun while you fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got fangs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Kane. Oh, he's so badass, dude. Yeah. 
<laughs> Bro, Kane has so much flair. He's got so much sauce. I love it. Nuts. Yeah. Nuts. Yeah. Feel that. Respect. Can't hate on that. <laughs> That's funny. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's rude. Need damage his shooting hand or something? Last words, Winston. Just have fun out there. <laughs> I actually don't know what's gonna happen right now. Like, I don't know who. I, like, do they shoot each other? Could they shoot someone else? Like, could they shoot the Marquis? Does Does fucking Kane shoot John? Who knows? Fire. Did they both hit each other? Oh, okay, grazed the arm. And John hit... Anything? Did John miss? Nope. Both got each other in the arm. Okay. I need Kane to take his glasses off so he can see better. I feel like that'd be Fire. so funny. Oh. Alright, John's was definitely worse on that when He got him in the gut. Fire! Excusez-moi? Pardonnez-moi? Scusa? Hello? Hello? What happened? Did John even shoot? Hello? I claim the coup de grace. Oh, what a fucking bitch steps in at the end. Your weapon. Give it to me. Is my daughter free now? Oh, they do it on purpose? You and your daughter. Yo. What if they did it on purpose? What if they did it on purpose? He didn't shoot. Ah, yeah. Like I was gonna say. I mean, fantastic, but I was like, did John even shoot? Nice. Nice. They played that motherfucker like a fiddle. That was good. I like that. Although John just took fucking three. Buddy is going through it. I don't know how Kane is still standing, but you know, okay. Your obligation to the team Everybody wins. Is satisfied, John Wick. John gets to go free. Kane's daughter is free. Let's go. My brother. You owe me one. <laughs> Without question, Kane is the best part of this movie and one of the best things about this universe, for sure. Kane is the goat. Need that to be said. Need that to be known. Will he take me home? Of course. No way John dies here. Is this really the last movie? Because, I mean, they talked about what to put on their gravestone, and he has the words, loving husband. No way John dies here, right? Right? He passed out. He's not dead yet. Now, now wait a minute. He passed out. He's not dead. I'm in the first phase of grief. I'm in denial. <laughs> hey, yo. Say swear to God. No way, man. No way. Pull a Sherlock Holmes right quick and be standing by the tree somewhere. Please and thank you. No way, dude. Was this the last John Wick movie? Wow. Does Vidania Moisin. No fucking way. No fucking way, homie. I mean, if, if this is it, and it concludes like this, that's a great quadrilogy of the John Wick movies. But I, 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 is this true? Is this the last one? I don't want to accept this, man. You end like that too? Oh my days, fam. Oh my days. I can't believe you've done this. Oh, it's Akira. No, 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 don't tell me she's gonna get her. No, 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 don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. Don't you dare. Oh!
I'm feeling primal rage right now. Okay. Let, let, let's let's get in let's get into some shit here. Okay. So first of all, amazing movie. It was long too. Like it was two hours and forty nine minutes, but it did not feel like two hours and forty nine minutes. You know what I'm saying? That felt quick. That didn't feel long at all. I I loved that. That was an amazing. I'm gonna be real with you. That might be on par. I think for the best out of the series, because I feel like personally for me, my rankings. I think it's been a while since I've seen the first two. I've seen the third one recently ish, but I think like probably the first one is still the best. Then two, then three is how I would rank them. But this could, you know, I think this one's on par with the first one. This one was really good. I loved the story that I think it's hands down the best side characters. I mean, the, the side characters in the third movie were good and they were funny to be fair. I did like them, but like Kane is my guy. Fuji was great. Akira was great. Uh, the Mr. Nobody was great. Uh, Marquis was great. I loved, 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 loved Skarsgård as Marquis. He was very good. Played that role really well, that uh, that higher up. You know, he played that arrogance very well. The fact that he was French made it funnier because, you know, everybody hates the French and they're all assholes or whatever. But uh, it was, I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was great. The music was really good. I liked the score a lot score was really nice uh the directing was really great actually so was the cinematography i mean john wick's always had really beautiful shots but it really stood out to me in this film um yeah but john wick dies so like is this it i didn't know this was supposed to be the last one i didn't know that maybe it was just me that didn't know that because like i said i didn't watch the trailers i didn't listen to what people were saying about it i haven't heard anything since this movie came out so like i don't actually know if this is the last movie i didn't know it was going to be if it is i'm hoping he pulled off a sherlock holmes but probably not but again they didn't show me a body right they didn't show me a body yes he was on the stairs yes he was shot three times yes he was bleeding out and i understand when john said can you take me home his home is helen and helen is dead so he was gonna die and get to the graveyard i get that but can a brother just live in the fantasy that John Wick is still alive? You know what I'm saying? Can I just live in that? Can we, as a people, as a society, can we understand that John Wick, the Baba Yaga, cannot die? Can we accept that as a people? No, I'm playing. It's okay if it's the last one. If it is the last one, I think... Because, okay, but to be fair, it doesn't have to be the last one in the John Wick universe. Because Kane is fucking dope. Super cool. Might be my favorite character from the entire John Wick universe. Uh... Mr. Nobody's cool too. Um, I liked him. I don't think he was as fleshed out as Kane was. So like, there's not as much to grab onto in terms of wanting more things from that character. But I I could do with a movie or a show about Kane. I'd be so down with that. I would personally like a movie more than a show, but um, I would love a movie about Kane. Cause I feel like you could do a prequel thing of like him becoming Kane. So like uh, how he voluntarily gave his eyes because he said he gave them so like how he did that I imagine the choice was like your daughter and he was or something I don't know it's got to be some kind of sacrifice for his daughter I imagine and he gave up his eyes and I'd love to see like how he trained himself to be as good as he is even without his eyes you know have a whole season 5 Arya Stark training montage you know that whole thing uh, I think that could be really cool I don't know if they'll ever do it but maybe if you know public reception on Kane is enough maybe they will decide to go into it because they did do the uh there was a show uh, they called the continental i believe which is about or not about but it's like placed in the john wick universe i uh, haven't seen that either uh didn't hear great things about it but you know maybe one day i'll watch it who knows i think the best acting performance in this movie was definitely marquis and kane both of them two the scars guard and i don't know the actor's name who plays kane but he was amazing both of them did phenomenal jobs uh i mean everyone loves keanu reeves uh, he's not a very good actor but you know we love him as a person and he was he's great in this role because like he's like the deadliest assassin who's ever lived he's not going to be that animated or crazy you know what i mean so like i get it so like it works for the character he plays that he doesn't need to have a lot of acting jobs uh but the acting was pretty good loved all the different characters like even the uh the girl who plays tonks from harry potter and who's in game of thrones she was great a great addition who's now like the head of the russian family and she let john back in she's a great addition as well i really liked her the dude that uh john killed the big man's he was he was a great addition he was very funny very charismatic 
uh, great scenes. Like, yeah, I, I would say the first action set piece and action scene wasn't as good as the other ones. That one felt more, because I think it was more hand-to-hand -hand combat. And like I said, because this movie goes so much, and the John Wick universe, goes so much for realism. It's what people comes for. I don't know about realism, actually, but like real action set pieces, I guess? Real action choreography. They don't like the quick cuts. They really enjoy showcasing and showing off how well choreographed all their fights is, how well timed it is, because that's what fight choreography is. It's a dance, right? Everybody has their cues. Everyone's dancing on beat. You need to hit every beat correctly for everything to flow well together. But I definitely think throughout a lot of the hand-to-hand -hand stuff, either parts of it felt really slow, which I get, again, real life, I get that. But for it to translate to the movie, the slowness just feels like it lacks any power, um, which which isn't as fun, obviously, which isn't as nice. You'll want to see the power in there. These are the deadliest assassins around there. They're sh they should be powerful. And like, there was a few moves where just like, they're either throwing punches or kicks and it just feels really slow. And when you're watching it, and it's that slow, you're like, hey, you're not gonna feel the hit. You know what I mean? Like it's, you're not gonna get a lot of power in that. It's not gonna do much, but like they'll throw a kick and the kick is super slow and the guy flies back. And you're like, flies back? Really? I don't know about that. I don't know about flies back, you know, from, from the kick that I just saw. I don't know about going flying backwards. Like it was with Akira, I think when she like was on the ground or something, she threw a kick. Like she was on the ground in position and just like threw her leg out there. And it felt like the distance, like it wasn't like a push kick, you know, where the guy was here and she was here so that her foot pushed him out as well. It was like, she was here, dude was over here, leg was fully extended and like barely tapped him and then he went flying. So like that part is a little bit like, eh? but it's not enough for you to like not enjoy the movie. It's not enough to be a detriment to the movie or the choreography because the choreography is so good and stellar that it, you just love watching it, that it doesn't really negate how good it is because it's slow and whatever but when it comes to the guns and the swords that's about as top tier as it gets i'm gonna be real with you that's about as top tier as it gets they the second i, I still think the second action sequence might be my favorite in the club with the rain it was really good but then you get into the cars and them fighting around that place in france I love how they use the cars. It feels very Jackie Chan inspired that way because Jackie Chan's choreography in a lot of his movies, he was really good at using the setting and the environment uh, for his fighting. So like, you know, even if when I watch the Rush Hour movies on my channel, you can see that like how he fights, you know, he's picking up chairs, using chairs, jumping through holes in the wall and whatever. Like he uses the environment to add to the fight choreography, which I really love. I love that because I don't know, it feels so much more real and tangible. You know what I mean? Like if you're in a real fight and you're like in a room like this, like I'm in right now, I'm grabbing anything and everything I can in this room to help me get an edge in the fight, right? I'm not going to be like, this is a fight. We're only throwing hands. Everything else is off limits. I'm not picking up. I'm not picking up the laptop. I'm not. No, I'm throwing you out a window, grabbing a water bottle, grabbing a cup. I'm grabbing whatever I can to try and get an edge in the fight. So I like that they do that. And like he just started using the cars. Um, the action was, I mean, it's John Wick movie, of course the action is gonna be amazing, we all know that, but I feel like they really somehow stepped it up. Which is weird because the third movie and the second movie was already so amazing, you don't really know how much higher they can step it up. You're like, the ceiling was here, there's no way you get higher than that, and they somehow set a new ceiling. Don't know how you managed that, but they managed it. Like with the stuff with the horses in the last movie, you thought like, wow, that's amazing, how do they go up and they just like took all of the car action sequences and like let's go up from there let's let's use the cars in insane ways john drifting while shooting drifting while picking up his gun you know maneuvering through traffic fighting with the cars throwing people into cars using the doors like all that kind of stuff was amazing couldn't get any better if it tried if i'm being honest also yeah i'll check back in editing to see if they did the uh the time correctly i from what it felt like i don't know if it was correct could be, but it, I don't know if it felt like the three minutes were three minutes or the eight minutes were eight minutes. Um, if it is the case, that's just something I personally really, really love because I hate when like a movie has like a clock or a ticking time bomb and it shows 30 seconds on the clock and it's like people are looking around, talking, inner monologue, all kinds of shit, like all kinds of shit is going on and you look back to the bomb and it's like three seconds has passed and you're like, okay, all right. Like, I get it, but it just, for me, like, then if you want to showcase more stuff, make the bomb longer. Make it six minutes so you can do all your stuff. Don't make it 30 seconds. Like, the 
the tense uh, the tension is still there from the bomb right even if it's six minutes compared to 30 seconds the tension of it is still there because you know the bomb is there you know it's eventually going to blow up so regardless of if it's set for eight minutes or set for 30 seconds it provides the same amount of thing it provides the same amount of suspe uh, suspense provides the same amount of tension you know it's eventually going to go off you don't want it to go off blah 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 so like i'm just going to be personally uh more impressed and thankful i guess that they decided to go the extra mile because i find it really nice when movies do that i think it's a attention to detail that is so important and just adds so much flavor to your movie personally for me so if they did do that fantastic if they didn't not the end of the world but it is something i really like to see and yeah though for a long movie it was just so well paced but also just nothing boring you know what i mean it's like it's not that it was action 24 7 even though it was but like there was just no boring parts none of the speaking parts there was a lot of great dialogue though like these guys have like the thanos level curse where they just speak in quotes my brother fuji was spitting bars winston was throwing in some bars too the king always throwing bars you know what i mean like it was just like every piece of dialogue felt so so nice and so i like that it's not a generic although i mean uh john's dialogue is very very generic and whatever <laughs> you know what i mean he's he doesn't say much in these movies to be fair uh but I like everybody else's dialogue surrounding him. It makes this world feel very like, this is what I mean by it saying like it knows what it is and it plays into it, right? It knows it's a movie about this secret underworld of assassin organization, about the high table, how many assassins, like it knows what it is and it plays into it by making it even more insane. Ham it up, you know what I mean? Ham up the camp of the assassin underworld. And it works, it works because it doesn't cross the line of becoming super campy because this world is not our world, right? The rules of the John Wick universe are not the rules of our universe. Obviously, there is no fucking bulletproof suit that can block every goddamn bullet in existence and not leave marks on you. Like, he took a shot from a shotgun, 10 feet maybe, should have been peppered all over. The amount he got flung back, broken ribs, nothing, scot free. So like, obviously the universe rules of the John Wick universe are not the same as this universe's rules. So you have to take that, obviously, um, while you're watching these movies. You can't expect it to behave like the real world because it's not the real world. It's the John Wick world. And when you take it as that, it becomes much more fun to watch. Instead of sitting there being like, how the fuck? Man? Just like, you know what I mean? Just go with it. Go with the flow. It's okay if John got shot eight times and is still pushing. You're like, fuck it. Who cares? You know, like the big man, the big man took so much. And it's like, he was barely injured, you know what I mean? I was like, yeah, I shot in the ass, stabbed, cut, thrown, flung, beat. My guy was still kicking around. You're like, okay. Or the dude that worked for the marquee and he was getting, he was getting cut, shot, beat, flung from the stairs, dropped on his back on all kinds of shit. And it was like, nothing. You know what I mean? He just kept, he kept going until the end. So it's, uh. It's part of the rules of this universe you just kind of have to accept, which is fine. It is what it is, right? It's not supposed to be realistic. It's just supposed to be fun. It's just action, right? You're not coming here for like the mirror image of reality, right? You're not coming here to have any euphoric ideas and epiphanies, right? You're just here for fantastic action and a good movie. And that's exactly what this was. Exactly what this was. I got no complaints. That was an amazing movie. I do think it's on par for the best of the series, if I'm being honest. I think number one, it's one or two that are my favorite. I don't know which I'd put there. I have to rewatch them again, but it might be one. Just because one had so much like mystery to it, you didn't know who John Wick was and you loved hearing people talk about him, right? That whole five minute segment of him talking about John. John is a man of focus, sheer fucking will, killed him with pencil, Baba Yaga, all this kind of stuff. It just, you don't get better than that, right? So I personally really enjoyed it. The action set pieces were great. Music was great. Cinematography was great. Colors were great. Side characters are great. I mean, there's just nothing I didn't enjoy about this movie. And that's it. That's it for me. I loved it. Tell me what you think. Is it the last one? I don't know. I imagine it is because from the looks of it, John is dead, which makes me sad. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? So that is the John Wick quadrilogy. I love these movies. They're fantastic. They're so, so good. So, so good. And I'm glad they didn't overstay their welcome. I'll be real with you. If it's the last one, I'm okay with that. If they do one more, I'm okay with that because you don't want the movies to keep going on and trying to be bigger and better until they just get sloppy and you don't enjoy them anymore because then it just taints the rest of the movies they've made 
and the stories they've created and the universe they've created. So if this is the last one and there's nothing else after this, I'm okay with that. I'm glad that it finished nicely, had a really good ending. I love how it ended because you didn't know how it was going to end. Because I said even before they were shooting, I was like, I don't know how this is going to end. Who are they going to shoot? How are they Because you've grown to love Kane. You grow to love his daughter and his story. You know John. You love John. You want him to win, but you want Winston to win. You don't want the Marquis to win. So you're like, how do we get everybody happy here? They use the rules against the Marquis. And because it's the high table, right? They can't go against the rules because they're the ones that set them. And if they showcase that they can go against the rules, then why should anybody else follow the rules? And then, you know, shit goes crazy. So I'm glad how it ended. I think it ended well. A little, little bow and tied it up in a knot. It's good. It's fantastic. But yeah, I loved that movie. It's really, really good. I enjoyed it. Tell me what you think. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment something. Full reaction on Patreon. And that's it for me. I'll catch you next time. Peace. Hey guys, thank you all for watching that recent video, and I just want to give a special shout out to Oko Canutilla. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm really sorry if I'm not, but just want to give a special shout out to you. You've been subscribed to my tier one on Patreon for a while now, and I appreciate you so, so much. Thank you so much for the support. Love you guys.